Hello everyone. Today's topic is to understand the roles and responsibilities for SAP MM end user and SAP MM consultant. Okay. So let's get started with the, the user's responsibility for end user that what is the work assigned to them for what work they are responsible for. So usually what happens that different types of SAP end users are working in different departments. I have, you know, listed down here, you know, a couple of, you know, main departments which runs in an organization and what the user do in those departments as an end user. So they usually, you know, work like a data entry user, data entry users in different departments such as purchasing, stores, warehouse, accounts, sales, etc. And accounts we can also call it as, you know, finance. So in purchasing, what they usually do, they are creating and managing purchase orders with the transition ME21N. Similarly, for stores, they are posting different types of goods movements, like posting good receipts, posting goods issues as well, right? Goods issues. And also they do transfer posting as well. Transfer posting between plant to plant and store location to store location. So they are using the transaction Amigo. And coming on to the accounts, that is finance department, they are posting invoices, they are posting credit memos, subsequent debits with the transaction Miro. And those end users who are working in sales department, they are, you know, engaged and you know occupied with the work for creating sales orders for their customers, billing document as well billing so let me just correct it for sales order it is i think it is ava01 and for billing it is vf01 and also they are you know responsible to monitor and manage inventory level in the stores and warehouse they also generate reports and analyze data for different business processes that for example they do running of the report for forecasting requirement or forecasting purchases in the coming months depending upon the you know different seasons right if their product is dependent on seasonal procurement and seasonal sales they also monitor and manage accounts receivable and accounts payable okay uh, this particular you know uh, these users they are responsible to receive the payment from the you know customers and they also do accounts payable. For example, if purchase order bana hai, uska payment ka responsibility BC team ka hota hai. Or agar ek sales order bana, to customer se kitna payment lena hai, uska responsibility bhi isi team ka hota hai, jo ki finance team mein kaam karti hai. Coming on to the SAP MM functional consultant responsibility, they are occupied in, you know, implementing and configuring SAP MM modules according to business need. They develop and maintain SAP MM master data, material vendor and purchasing information record and source list as well. They develop and maintain SAP MM purchasing documents. You know, these are a couple of different, you know, roles and responsibilities we are sharing here, like purchase orders, purchase requisitions, request for quotations, and outline agreement as well, that is contracts. They do perform system testing as well to ensure that a development change is working fine or not, and then they pass this testing to the users to do the business testing. And they also provide training to the end users on how to use the module and, you know, how to, you know, work on the new change, which is done in the process, depending upon the functional configuration or depending upon the app, app development change. SAP MM consultants are also responsible to do the troubleshooting also, the troubleshooting or different issues being faced by business. They provide guidance on the best practices for SAP. They are also, you know, responsible for implementing fixes and they are engaged and occupied in delivering different enhancements, you know, which cause different, you know, good benefits and, you know, good business values to the business processes. And they also work with other SAP consultants like SAP SD module, finance module, controlling, HR, production planning, quality management. And they are also responsible to do the documentation part as well, right? For example, 
यूजर मैनुअल्स उनको बनाना है ट्रेनिंग मटेरियल बनाना है यूजर्स के लिए कुछ सिस्टम कॉन्फ़िगरेशन का कुछ डॉक्यूमेंट बना के रखना है सो दैट व्हेन वन एस सी कंसल्टेंट लीव द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जब भी एक एस कंसल्टेंट किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम कर रहा है तीन चार साल से या छह छह सात साल से और उसने अगर बहुत अच्छा डॉक्यूमेंट बनाया है तो जो उसकी जगह जो दूसरा कंसल्टेंट ज्वाइन करेगा उसके लिए बहुत बहुत इजी हो जाता है यू नो टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यू नो कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस डन इन डिफरेंट यू नो सिस्टम्स एंड यू नो इन डिफरेंट बिजनेस प्रोसेसेस एंड यू नो अगर ये सारा डॉक्यूमेंटेशन अपनी जगह पर है तो उस न्यू कंसल्टेंट के लिए सारा बिजनेस प्रोसेस को समझने में ज्यादा देर नहीं लगती इसलिए इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू हैव अ काइंड ऑफ यू नो रिपोजिटरी वेर इन All these documentations are kept. So everyone, uh, this was the difference uh, between the roles and you know responsibilities of a SAP MM end user and SAP MM functional consultant. आशा करते हैं आपको ये छोटा सा session पसंद आया होगा. मैं आप सभी से request करता हूँ to please subscribe my channel and share this channel with your friend circle as well who are you know in need to have such kind of uh, information on sap mm s4hana system thank you very much for your time and attention